a sponsor shows and events. Remember, you're just starting as a makeup artist and you want to be out there, you want to be known. Girls, sponsor shows, sponsor events, sponsor a queen show or something. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Channel 767 Hope everybody's doing well today. Today's video is another series of Makeup Artist Advisory by Channel 767 And today's topic, we're going to cover how to promote as a MUA. Point number one, create social media pages. For example, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, or even have your own website. That helps your audience and clients go to your social media page and they can see what type of makeup artist are you and you can show them the type of work that you do. Also, you have your email address in order somebody want to do like a certain collab with you or some type of sponsorship and you have your telephone number just in case somebody wants to reach out to you for a particular booking. You need social media to promote your work. Next point, you need to post your work even if you have none. So you started up as a makeup artist, you've been practicing on your friends and family, but sometimes they're not available and you have nobody to post. So that is a great opportunity to keep practicing on yourself. Post full glam, soft glam, wedding, um, recreation of somebody look, or just create your own look for yourself. Basically, you keep on posting your work on yourself or friends and family. People can see what you have to offer and be consistent and keep on practicing. The next point I want to bring is schedule posting and be consistent. Now, you need to have some kind of a schedule posting system involved, whereas you can post Mondays to Fridays or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday and remain consistent in in your posting now don't get me wrong I know it's difficult and life happened but I can help you basically if you are a mom who have kids or you studying or you have a other job it do get too busy to even be on social media and be posting there is an app called Polly you post your picture on that app select a date time write in your own personal description and also your hashtag the app shows you what your post is going to look like and when the day come it will post it for you that easy if you do not have that app there's also called um facebook the exact exact same thing that you do on the app the exact same thing that you do on Facebook and it shows you what your post is going to look like before they post it on Facebook and always link your Facebook to your Instagram so you won't be going back and forth between two apps. Once you post it on Instagram, it's automatically post on your Facebook page and always remain consistent. Don't post today and then the next post you post until next week or next month or next year. You need to be consistent in posting so basically your audience and clients see that you are active on all your social media pages. The next point I want to bring about is theme, no theme, it don't matter. Now there are makeup artists where you post um, flowers, your makeup and then flowers or blank um, picture, your makeup then a blank picture or makeup something and then makeup yes it really shows that you are neat you very professional and you take pride in your social media page and theme but does it bring engagement do people like the picture do they comment do it bring followers where you have um other makeup artists, they don't care. They post anytime, anywhere, in kitchen, dishes, in the yard, in somebody's living room. They, no matter where they post, they will post and they not 
having a particular theme but that post bring engagement it bring comments and it bring a lot of followers so even if you have a theme or you don't have a theme it doesn't matter what matter is people following you because they like your makeup application if you have somebody who have a theme sometimes no engagement no followers no like but there are times people who have theme there is engagement likes and followers so it don't matter theme no theme the only thing that matters is your makeup application and people will follow you for that next point finally now this one is very cheeky people are against it and people are for it some people say it's bad advice because you making them stick to one thing and run with it and there are people saying stick to one thing run with it and you will get successful i understand the both if you stick to it and run with let's say a makeup application for a soft glam you are losing some percentage of makeup application like for example someone who wants a full glam photo shoot fashion a music video or, or tv show so all that audience that you losing because you're sticking to one type of makeup application which is soft glam whereas when you have a niche and you keep on um promoting it and then you're finding other talents like let's say you're doing full glam soft glam weddings television show it's like you're bringing all type of audience to you so it if you have a leash or you don't have a leash, it doesn't matter. Once again, what matters is your makeup application and practicing your work. Then the next point I want to bring across is using social media tools. Now, let's say you, for example, Instagram, you have a picture, let's say this look right there, and then you have different angles posting the look, and you have 10 of them. Different days, you're posting all 10 pictures one after the other now you be very careful with that because if you keep on posting the same pictures like five ten times of the same picture the same description and also the same hashtag instagram will recognize you as a bot or a robot and they flag your page and then you wouldn't get engagements like you used to before and they will flag you maybe for two weeks or more i'm not too sure so instead of that select collage so you have 10 pictures select all 10 put it on the one collage and then post it on instagram also you have their story use the story and there's more engagement with story than actually posting on your feed do you know that for example you want to put out a poll should i i post this picture on my story and i have a poll should i post it no yes the amount of engagement that post bring that from that story or you have i post that picture but i block it and i say new post when you put that people click on it and go straight to your feed and like your picture so also you need to use all types of tools that social media have to bring engagement to your social media page and to be recognized as Next well. Next point I want to bring across is use your friends and family to promote. Girl, that is free promotion. <laughs> so basically, I post this look on all my social media page, but I really want to promote this look and let people know, okay, look at this soft glam that I do. So I forward it to my friends and family. They post it on their page. They, whoever following them, see it. They click on the link that they post on your feed or their story and bring you directly to my page and that's where the engagement coming in they like the picture they comment and also they um, follow you or they have any questions they ask you so it's great to have friends and family to promote because it's free promotion but once again i do understand sometimes you do not have that support system it's okay girl instagram facebook Twitter, YouTube, it's your promotion for free. Keep on being consistent and posting your work and practicing your work. It's free. They see it, sis. They see it. Trust me. <laughs> the next point I want to brain is <laughs> it's supposed to be my number one but i decided to make it be number nine is to be strong now for example depression do kick 
in whenever you're a makeup artist. For example, I post this look. Oh my God, I love this look so much. It's bomb. I'm so hype about it. I follow it to my friends and family. They love it. They bomb about it and they love everything about it. But from the time you post the look, you're not getting that exact um, engagement than what you normally get from your friends and family. When you post that picture, you're going to see maybe one or five likes or no comments at all. Don't be discouraged, sis. They see you. It's your makeup application at all. That's what that matters. Sorry. <laughs> it's all what that matters. And yes, it do tend to be depressing, but trust me, they do see you. Or sometimes there are um you do not have any makeup application to do in a whole month or a couple of weeks it's okay but use that time to um do promotion have special coming in because remember you are self-employed all money coming direct to you if you don't have no application in a month that means no income coming in so be strong please I want to bring about is post your prices and I always saying that don't be afraid to post your price list they see you if they want to um, book your appointment they will book the appointment you always have competition people will always judge you because of your work and the price that you choose to post for your makeup application some people you could be the cheapest but they rather go somewhere somewhere else you can be expensive but they still rather go somebody else what is for you is for you do never be discouraged in posting your prices the next point i want to bring across is booking never forget to have booking system sometimes i do understand people not into the social media tools and trying to understand it but at least post on your feed okay booking open for the months of october november december every month have some type of booking no book from the first to the 25th fully open book now <laughs> or the first to the 25th fully book after that empty book now you understand so you have to have some type of communication with your audience and your clients letting them know when to book and how to book the next point i want to bring across is sponsor shows and events remember you're just starting as a makeup artist and you want to be out there you want to be known girls sponsor shows sponsor events sponsor a queen show or something when you sponsor that imagine you're sponsoring a queen contest and your name is going to be on the flyer wherever the queen contestant go you're going to be there so that person you're doing that person makeup for months and everybody's seeing her and they're seeing her makeup and they're going to know who do their makeup chanel 767 you know so that is great promotion do some kind of sponsorship sponsor shows sponsor events and don't be um discouraged yes you will lose but at the end of the day you've been recognized and then you will have clients coming to now, the you. next point i want to bring across is have special um for seasons now once again i just mentioned earlier on you're going to be discouraged um well you don't have nobody for a whole month at all that's when you need to have special whereas you have carnival because i'm from the caribbean you have carnival you have um i would say valentine's day easter summer independence um christmas new year's no matter what type of season they have, have special. If you have nobody during that season, have special. Have 20% off. Um, have 50% off for the whole month if you can afford it. Have um, refer a friend. If you refer a friend, you get 20% off. Or that friend get 20% off. And the person who refer you get 20% off. Just to have some type of income coming in whenever there is slow season and don't be afraid to have special you know you're showing appreciation to your clientele as well if you do that Next point is client appreciation girl you're gonna have constantly the same clients 
coming to you and they're going to be very comfortable coming to you. Show them appreciation by having a loyalty card or a gift certificate. When you have a loyalty card, let's say the first five appointments or ten appointments, you get a makeup application which include lash or with dot lash, but it's only studio. If you have to freelance, it's a different price. Or the next time you visit, you get 20% off or 10% off. Or if once again, like what I just said, if you refer a friend, you get 20% off. So that is like a loyalty program that you have and if you're a client. And also you can have um, gift certificates. So basically let the clients know that you have gift certificate because your clients have a friend that looking for a makeup application and she loves your work she can buy a gift certificate for that friend to come to you to show her how much she loves your makeup application so i would say never forget to show appreciation to your clients that's always a must <laughs> the next point is collab or go live now it's always good to go lab but do it genuine <laughs> no because some people they only want it to be recognized some people because they really want to build some type of friendship and community around the beauty industry now remember there is always type of communication everybody wants to be the next best but always remember one makeup artist cannot do the whole state they cannot do the whole Caribbean island. Everybody needs to feed. So that's why you, when you're in the beauty industry, I mean, being genuine, I mean, collab, do live. I mean, just for Christmas, I was, last year, I, I did a collab with some girls. We had a group chat. Oh my God, they are so nice, very friendly, very motivated, and they advice as well, and I love that for them. So when you collab, you collab with other beauty guru out there, they post you on their page, their audience see you, they come to your page, they like you, and the recognitions um, take from there. Also, you go live, show appreciation to your clients as well, and your audience come on live and say hi guys do you want to do a brow tutorial today or lash tutorial today or full glam today you know now and then go live and when you go live other people because remember you live you live for everybody and not just your audience everybody watch your life so when people come to the instagram or their facebook and they see that there's a makeup application live they watch your life they like you they like the post they follow you all that is engagement as well you know the next point and final point i want to bring across is have a business card so basically you're walking down the road with your shirt on and someone stop you and was like hey i like a makeup application okay raise your business card recognize see your work so always offer a business card and on your business card show all your social media page show also your email address to contact you for business require and also telephone number if they want more information and have some kind of a booking system on your business card so anytime they want to do a makeup application they go straight to that booking system to book you now that's a lot of points guys i hope you're sipping tea and you're writing down every single thing that i have <laughs> so that is it on today's series makeup artist advisory by chanelle 767 don't forget to keep it luck and stay blessed my beautiful people bye